guys? It's your boy Simply Sofian, and welcome to episode two of Thinking Thursday. And now I got Nick with me, and we're gonna talk to Nick and get to know a little bit more about Nick. Hey, what's up, brother? What's up? How you feeling, man? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for asking. Yeah, no problem. All right. So what I'm gonna be asking you today, and what I'm gonna be talking to you about, is um, just about your life and who you are. So your name is Nick. Yep. Um, what major are you? Audio actually? production. Audio music. Production. Okay, that's freaking awesome, brother. Yeah, thank you. I got Haley with me. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Doing fantastic. Thanks for asking. So, pretty much what we do is we're coming around campus asking students a couple questions about their lives and dreams and their goals and aspirations. So, how old are you? I am 17. 17? Okay, wow. So, you got into college pretty early. <laughs> yeah, I skipped it. Right. Freshman? Yes. Alright, so I was in the same position, except my dad didn't let me go to college <laughs> the first six months. <laughs> okay, okay. Alright, perfect. So, what's your major? Kinesiology. What is that? So you have bones, joints, muscles. Okay, cool. It's your boy Simply Sofian. We got Cole over here. Yeah. And uh, we're on the Hampton campus, and we got a couple questions for Cole. First of all, what, uh, what major are you? Elementary education. Elementary education. I have Victoria with me. Hi. She's from Sweden. <laughs> Didn't know that. That's super cool. All right, so how old are you? I'm 18. 18. Okay, perfect. So you're a freshman here? Yeah. All right, cool, cool. Uh, what major are you studying? Uh, flight education, flight. aviation. So I'm becoming a pilot. A pilot? Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, what year are you? I'm Hampton. We're at a different campus, guys. I forgot. <laughs> I'm a junior now. Junior. Okay. So you've been going at it for three years. Yep. All right. Perfect. How are you liking it? So far, so good. Uh, plenty of experiences, opportunities, plenty of firsts. Okay. It's been an amazing experience, and I've been grateful for it. 100%, 100%. Okay, and what year? Freshman. Freshman, okay, so you just got in here. Yeah. How are you liking it so far? It's nice. It's nice. It's a little uh, slow right now, slow? but once the weekend gets here, it'll be good. All right, so, like, right now, what are you guys doing? Are you, like, reviewing everything you've learned in, like, high school? Uh, no, nah, I'm basically huh? just kind of jumping right in at okay. first. Perfect. That's awesome, that's awesome. What got you into that? Um, I've been in sports all my life, so... When I was about eight years old, I fell in a hole actually, and my knee hyperextended, but they didn't know why. I was missing a bone. And after that, I went through physical therapy, and it kind of got me like, oh man, I kind of want to do this in my life. Okay, perfect. What got you into that? Um, my mother was a flight attendant. Okay. And I just think the industry, ind industry is like awesome. Okay, yeah, yeah. It definitely allows you to go different places. Yeah, explore. I love to travel and yeah. yeah. It explains that you're from Sweden and you're here, so you've definitely traveled. <laughs> yeah, that's... I'm here on a tennis college. Oh, you play tennis play too? Tennis. That's awesome, that's awesome. So yeah. you're exploring life, living life, enjoying your, enjoying everything, right? Exactly. Alright, perfect. So now, this is where I'm going to ask you a random question. Now, think about, like, go in the past, right? Okay. And think about the 10-year-old Nick. Okay. And you ask 10-year-old Nick, if, you, if I were to ask 10-year-old Nick, are you living your dreams? Are you following your dreams at that point? Are you, like, what would the answer be? Ten-year-old Nick, my dreams have changed. Uh, when I was younger, I wanted to be a video game designer. Okay. Um, so ten-year-old Nick would say no. No. But current me, I would say yes. Yes. Um, I've been producing music, so I'm a producer and recording engineer. Okay. Just doing both of those, and I'm getting more experience, meeting more people. So it's been been pretty good. Been pretty good. Okay. Now what I'm gonna ask you is. 10 year old Cole, if you were asking him, like, what did you want to do when you grew up, like, what would he tell you? What would he be answering me right now? Uh, I don't know, probably like somewhere I make a lot of money, mm -hmm. but um, now I'm gonna be a teacher, so clearly not that anymore. Okay, so at one point money was important to you? Yeah. And it changed? That's changed? Uh, yeah, I think giving back to the community is a little bit more important now. So that drives right into the next question, right? So this is 17-year-old Haley, we asked her the question. So now if we ask 10-year-old or 8-year-old Haley, what did you want to do when you grew up? What, she, what would she have said? Kinesiology, like orthopedic surgeon. Perfect, that's awesome, that's awesome. So you're, you're following your dreams right now. That, that, that's awesome, because that doesn't usually happen. Cause we'll talk to people who are like, I want to be an astronaut, I want to be a teacher, I want to make a lot of money, I want to yeah. do this. But then now it's like, I want to do that. You followed your dream, you're following your dream, and that's freaking awesome. <laughs> like, I can commend that to you. Not many people do that. Thank you. So, now let me ask you. You're studying to be a uh, pilot and everything, so that's your dream. At, you said you're 18, correct? Yeah. Okay. So now, if I were to ask you the same question when you were 10 years old, what would your answer have been? Um, like a famous singer. Famous singer. <laughs> okay. Well, are you good at singing? Um, 
Sometimes. Sometimes? Okay. <laughs> Only in the shower. Okay, yeah. cool. Now, the aspect of you wanted to be a video game designer, now you're a music designer. They're pretty still similar, I think, to an extent. When it comes to the creative aspect. You're creating. Yeah. So, what do you think led you to change your mind? Was it personal experience, you, you yourself, or was it others? I would say personal experience. personal experience. When I got to high school, I started songwriting, mm -hmm. and I wanted to program my musical skills. Okay. So I got here and decided to major in music, and yeah, it's been pretty. Good. I've enjoyed it. Okay, so now you're focusing on providing a service, providing for others. Yeah, correct. And what influenced you to change that? Was that personal or was that other people? Uh, my mom's a teacher. Your mom's so a teacher. Kind of just watching her. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right, so. You wanted to be a singer, so now you want to be a pilot. Yeah. What happened? Um, I don't know. I just, like, I've been dreaming about many things, and mm -hmm. I just felt that pilot was something that right now I want to be a pilot. Maybe in 20 years I want to be something else. Okay, okay. But right now I want to be a pilot. Perfect, so that's good, because, yeah. You had a dream, but yeah. life happens, you change your mind, and this mm. is what you want to do now, and this is, you're following your dream now. Yeah. As long as that's what you're doing, that's important. And so, now you're in college, you're learning about music. Are you just focusing on learning through just the college aspect, or are you doing stuff on the side too? On the side as well. Yeah. So over the summer, we have a studio on campus here, so I stayed back and I worked in the studio, kind of honing my skills. One of the people I also look up to is Dave Pensado, and he has a YouTube channel where he brings in people and engineers who are currently in the industry. So I watch and I'll study them. Okay, check out Dave. His link's gonna be right there. I'll figure it out. It's gonna be right there. <laughs> All right, perfect, perfect. So now we talk to. How old are you, by the way? Twenty. Twenty. Okay, we talked to twenty-year-old Nick. We talked to ten-year-old Nick. So now let's talk to fifty-year-old Nick. What does your life look like? Fifty years old. I want to be retired. <laughs> uh, family, time to travel, see the world, okay. uh, helping people. That's a big part of, of what I like to do, going out helping others. So we asked 18 year old Cole what he's doing. You're becoming a teacher. This is what you're aspiring to be. We yeah. asked 10 year old Cole what he wanted to do. He wanted to make money. That yeah. was what he wanted to focus exactly. on. Exactly. So now we're asking 50 year old Cole, who was a teacher, he was able to help his um, community. Yeah. Like, what does your life at that point look like? Uh, hopefully I get money at that point. Um, I'm trying to be like a superintendent or something like that. So um, hopefully by the time I'm 50 years old, I'll have made a difference. You can like go see what I've done. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So now we talk to 18 year old and now we talk to 10 year old. Now let's talk to 50 year old 50. Victoria. What are you doing? <laughs> um, I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> Probably have a family, kids, yeah, living life. <laughs> living life, okay. Uh, teaching in some way or another. I don't know about formal education, but maybe it'd be through mentorship or going and working with an elementary school, something of that nature. Okay. Uh, what, why, why do you feel that that's what you want to do? Why do you want to help people? Uh, giving back has always been important to me. I feel like if you have the opportunity and you're able to give back to others, you should. Um, you know, just as simple as that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's very simple, however, it's not. It's hard. It's, it is hard to an extent, too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, you know, you gotta take it one day at a time. Just do what you can. Exactly. That's smart. That's smart. So, you said you want to be a superintendent. How much does the superintendent make? That's an excellent question. It's like 200000 I think. 200000 yeah. Okay. Um. All right, so like the reason I'm asking that is because if you, you do have a plan, you seem like you're, you're set on what you want, but, yeah. and you also said that money is very important to you, Yeah. right? So, and if you, if you I don't, I'm not going to get into it right now because a lot of people, I don't want to waste your time in anything. Yeah. I, on my channel, you can actually check it out. I have a video where I explain and break down like how much money people make, how much they're going to be going to taxes, how much you're going to be saving, how much you need for retirement, all that stuff breaks it down. That's around like, what, 72,000 a year. Mm -hmm. You divide that by 12 months, like you're making like six grand a month. All right, so now you gotta pay what? Rent? Yes. You're old as shit, bro. What I advise for you is definitely check that out because you already know you have your plan, right? Yeah. But well, like you mentioned, money is of importance to you. Yeah. So I'm not gonna be the guy that says, 
you're not gonna make all the money in the world being a teacher or a superintendent, but I honestly want you to go ahead and check that out and see exactly, do the math, dude. Figure out how much you're gonna, at 50, you can do the math and know exactly how much you're gonna have in your bank account when you're 50 years old. And then that's gonna tell you, is this exactly what I wanna do? Yeah. Because imagine, yeah, you're focused on serving, helping people, but then you're 50 years old and you realize you didn't make the money you wanted to make, you weren't able to live the life you wanted to live, you're gonna be kind of blown, right? Yeah. So, but then also if you're focused on the money and you never helped anybody else, you're gonna be blown because you didn't make a difference. Yeah. So you want that balance. Well, as like so you can see that maybe that's something you haven't thought about recently, right? You haven't yeah. actually like focused on. But yeah. if you tell me if this makes sense, right? So imagine if you were like you knew exactly what 50-year-old Victoria is doing, how much money she made, and now you just worked it backwards and like worked it backwards and did everything to get you there. Wouldn't that be the easiest way to get to that? Yeah, it would. Okay, so that's just my <laughs> my piece of advice, obviously. Yeah. Um, it could be wrong, it could be right. However, that's just what I have to give to you. Yeah. You seem like you're on a good path. Yeah. You want to, you know what you want to do. You're, you're already following your dreams. You're playing tennis. You want to be a pilot. You're from a different country, in a different country studying. Yeah. So you're doing a great job, Thanks. honestly. <laughs> okay, so now we talked about, we know what your, your life is like. You have a family, you're retired. What did you produce in music? What did you do? How did you change the music world? How did I change the music world? I would say I brought my, my flavor to it, my ability to create, uh, my ability to help others grow and to lead others. Um, I would say that I'm finding different ways to be an innovator, to kind of change how we do things now, uh, how we write, uh, how we record, just experimenting. So that's the biggest part. Awesome. So the reason that I, I do this is like because what I've been realizing is a lot of people come in here and they're like living their life and then other people come in and drop in their opinions and then they kind of swerve off their path, right? Mm -hmm. They're like, yeah, I want to do this, but then somebody who failed at what they want to do comes in and says, no, it doesn't work that way. Try it this other way. And then they're like, okay, and I'm going to go do that. But if they were listening to somebody like you who's actually still following their dreams, still doing what they want to do, then they get inspired and they keep doing it and they keep, there's more passion, correct? Yeah. 100%. So, a lot of the people on here, I, I ask questions to like find out what kind of mindset they have. You're still sticking to your goals, so I don't even have to ask you those questions. <laughs> All I can say is good job, keep going. Thank you. The only advice I can keep giving you though is for you, you're still young. So you still, there's still people, you still have time for people to come and like take you off your path, show you off what you want to do. So what I, what I can advise you to do is surround yourself with people who support what you're doing. And it seems like you're already doing that. Support, surround yourself with people who want to enforce you and get you to be the best person you can be. And what I've been doing to do that, yes, it's cool to have people like in your life, like I have John in my life, he supports my dreams and stuff like that. However, you, you have to create that for yourself too, right? So what I do is I listen to podcasts, I listen to books, I listen to people who are where I want to be, and then I follow what they did. And then that's how I'm going to be where I want to be. So, 100%. All right, guys, so you guys met Nick. You learned about him. He's a very smart guy. He has goals. He has aspirations. He wants to help the world. So we're going to help him get to that. And the best way you guys know how we are able to help people is by referring them to other people that are doing successful things and helping them achieve their goals. So what I want to do is, what I do is I listen to a bunch of podcasts and a bunch of uh, videos about people that are successful and show you how to get to where they want to go. So if you, do you have an iPhone or anything like that? Yeah, I do. So if you go on your podcast app, how many people have it? So it's a podcast. <laughs> I have it. Thank you. Do you listen to podcasts at all? Uh, I used to, but not so much now. Not so much now. At least you still know what that is, though, so that's yeah. good. All right, so I'm going to type this guy in. The MF CEO. It's a guy named Andy Priscilla. He started from scratch. His first job was painting like lines in a parking lot. And this guy now is a multimillionaire. His business is about to do $140 million this year. And all he does for free is come on there and show you how to motivate you, how to reach your goals. Just giving you tips and tools, how to like put blinders on so people that come try to distract you get out the way. Like just help you get to where you want to be, right? And that's what's going to help you be where you want to be. Because I'm assuming you probably like, if you're following your dreams still, you probably have parents that are supporting your goals, supporting your dreams. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. And that's why you're still doing it because you have, you have the support. So just keep focusing on that. Emphasizes on. Yes, you're the CEO, but not a CEO of a business. You're the CEO of your life, bro. Right. Your life is a business. You're creating a brand. You're creating a company. You're creating a business. Right. So you want to be the CEO of that. You want to be able to run it to the most effective ability possible. Right. And today's episode that just dropped is about goals and dreams and achievements. Okay. And I advise you to definitely give it a listen. I got I gave it a listen, and that's what inspired today's episode. Okay. And uh, it's just like getting you to think about your bigger dream, figure out what 50-year-old Nick did. Right. 
how he got to his success, it's gonna it's gonna help you break it backwards. Reverse engineer it, bro. Hundred percent. And he literally tells you how to get to that, like how to get the habits, how to become, how to think bigger. Yes, you can follow your dream becoming a teacher, but on the side you can be doing something. You can have a side hustle or something that's gonna help you create that wealth, man. Because right. you want to help people, and I want you to do that too. But I want you to like enjoy yourself doing it. Because I don't want you killing yourself, like starving yourself, slaving yourself for other people, right? You want to be enjoying yourself as well as helping other people. Yeah. So the way for you to do that is to focus on the money too. Don't think the money's not important because it is important at the end of the day, bro. All right. All right, brother. Thank you. All right, my pleasure, brother. Yeah. Wait, right. what was your social media? Oh yeah, shout it Fuck out. Fuck it out. Oh yeah, social media for my Twitter and Facebook. It's at Chef N E K O underscore. We'll have that on the screen and right is there. Is your work in there too? Like your music, music wise? Yes, it is. That was perfect. I'm turn on that bell so next Thursday you'll be on here. Awesome. Thank you, Haley. Right, I nice really to meet appreciate you guys. it. Mm -hmm. So next Thursday the episode's gonna drop and then you're okay. gonna be able to see yourself in there. Okay.